Let's click on this uh, icon right here, Terminator X version 2. And by the way, how to get, let's cancel that right there. Let's do this real quick. Go ahead to get this icon up here. Click on Google here. Ollie. Let's drag this to the desktop too. Right here. Ollie.com. Let's put it right here. Support. Fuel injection. Terminator X is what I'm working on. That's what's in my 88 Mustang. Go down here to, here's your SD card contents. Right here it is. Terminator X, latest software. Click on that. Download that. And you'll be able to put that icon up there. And uh, just wanted to show you that. Let's move forward. Okay, let's get your, this is what you want to see anyway. Let's cancel this. And I want to show you a little trick here. Let's minimize, or I'll just do that. And the, what I want to use is on the uh, my SD card, the program I want to use. Let's go right here. So this Kodak right here. Well, actually it in there yet. Let's put that in there. There you go. That looks a little better. Okay, right here's the Kodak. Let's go to Holly. FW0200. Uh, I guess that's version 2. This is where it's at. Saved global configuration file right there. And I just modified this one down here running pretty good on that one and uh, so I just did a couple things and I call it a good one one right here so let's just take this right here here's a little trick what happened there let's do this again here it is a good one one yeah it's 92 kilobytes I guess it is let's just drag it right here drag it right there and drop it now that's the program we're working with and and I'm plus we're gonna go out I'm gonna load this and uh, go start the car too and I'm gonna try to move through this kind of fast you know just show you a few things and because uh, I'm new and I'm learning so here we go let's go to uh, here's my file a good one one and let's just what was what did it just say right base fuel I didn't do anything there 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 didn't touch anything here didn't do anything to any of these let's go to sensors that was called the fuel ICF uh, let's go to sensors here map sensor I have the one bar internal which I'm going to change okay I bought um, something a little different here got some parts coming in coolant temperature sensor i'm using the holly bought it from holly uh, manifold layer temperature same i'm using the holly oil pressure i'm using that holly right there it's fi uh, part number 554-102 fuel pressure is uh something doesn't look right there so I don't know there. Okay, anyway. See anything here. Now let's go over to this. This is system ICF. You have an eight cylinder 302. Actually, I have a 306. Let's do that. VE based. We have speed density, alpha and combo. Let's go with VE based. Say yes there. Um, O2 sensors, the Bosch 409 comes with the kit, uh, Terminator kit, uh, injection type, multi, you have throttle body injection, 
direct injection and multi-port. Multi-port's what you want. Fuel pump front, uh, prime five is good. My actual fuel pressure, I know what it is. Um, went the wrong way with that. 35.5. I'm going to get an adjustable fuel pressure regulator someday. It's not on there. It's stock uh, fuel pressure regulator on there. Right here, notice enable uh, injector end table, angle in or end table, angle table. Click on this and you'll notice something light up over here. Right there, injector phasing. Let's go over there. You can put your cam information in right here. I'm not real certain what mine is. I know it's a trick flow stage two, but I'm gonna, you, you need a tuner uh, if you have this system. Uh, very, very helpful. I, I highly recommend it, a Holly certified tuner. There's two in my area, not real close, but I can get to them. So there's one in, uh, over in Cleves in uh, Ohio, and there's one in Covington, Kentucky. So. Here I didn't do, oh, wait a minute, let's go back to that injector phasing. Okay. Where was I? Right here. Engin okay. Engine parameters. Okay, let's get back to this. Uh, I'm just going to uncheck that. The uh, enable injector in angle, not in table, table. But now, my fuel injectors, I know what they are. I have Holly 30 pound. There's four. See, does it say Holly down here? I know they're Holly. Uh, let's see, Terminator X. Terminator Excel. Nope, we're going to go down here to the Ford 30 pound right there. That's what I have. And it puts all the info in there for you. So let's move on. Uh, idle, idle ICF. In here. Okay, let's go to the idle ICF, the idle speed. I got mine set up kind of high here because I'm trying to get, get it running. Um, tuning it needs to go to the tuner, just like I said. And, uh, that's what I'm working on, but it's running pretty hefty. We'll see. But you definitely, this, this should be down around 850, 900. You know, so that's, a, that's high, definitely. IAC settings, idle spark enabled. You can turn it on and off and see what it, how it works for you. But I'm leaving that checked. Uh, right here you got idle control. You know you have a 5.0 liter Ford. That's what we have here. Right here, IAC type, pulse width modulation. There, not a stepper. And I'm gonna change mine here. There's, uh, I got a couple parts ordered and there's a way you can make a change here because the Ford IACs are not the greatest for this system. Frequency, I see people right around 315, something like that. Play around with that. IAC hold position, a few other places you can play around with. Um, let's see, IAC park position, I didn't do anything here. Um, okay, that's. This right here is kind of, it is important. Let's go over to the pin map. Let's go to outputs. The only place I need to be in here. You wanna make sure your IAC PWM is here. Uh, maybe a little <clears throat> uh, older system, uh, whatever. You used to have to drag this down here. Okay, I can probably drag it back up here. Okay, yeah. okay it used to be up here like this. So you drag it down, you want it down here. So, let's see where we at here. Okay, that's that's uh, about it. I'm going to save this file. Save global file as before it was called a good one one. So let's call it best ever. Best ever. Okay, and we'll save that. Make sure it's over here on the um, SD card. Yeah, Kodak. It will be right here in Holly. FW uh, 
0200. And best ever right here is what I want, 92 kilobytes like the others. So it's in there and now we're gonna go load it uh, in the car and fire it up. 